Pivot charts are outstanding tools for helping readers to understand the information communicated in pivot tables. Some pivot table users even describe pivot charts as graphical extensions of pivot tables because in prior versions of Excel, you needed to build a pivot table before you could build a related pivot chart. However, as you will see in this tip, beginning with Excel 2013, you can build standalone pivot charts without an accompanying pivot table. To understand the process of constructing a standalone pivot chart, let us first examine the data currently shown on the screen. In this case, we have over 11,000 rows of data in nine columns, and we would like to create a pivot chart so that we can analyze this information more effectively. To construct a standalone pivot chart, begin by clicking in or selecting the range of data that you would like to turn in to your chart. Then, select Pivot Chart from the Insert tab of the ribbon. Upon doing so, Excel automatically recognizes the data range that you wish to convert into a chart. If necessary, you certainly can edit the data range. Be sure to check the box near the bottom of the Create Pivot Chart dialog box indicating Add this data to the data model. And upon doing so, click OK. This displays the pivot chart placeholder as well as the field list. Now create your pivot chart by dragging fields to the appropriate drop areas in the pivot chart field list. Upon doing so, you have the makings of your pivot chart. However, in this example, notice that the pivot chart is clearly too busy, that is, it has far too much information displayed to be useful in most circumstances. And herein lies the beauty of working with pivot charts. Pivot charts provide filters, filters that allow you to, in real time, select the data and only the data that you want to display in your chart. For example, let's suppose that we want to display this data only for one of the two fiscal years. In this case, we'll choose only the 2012 fiscal year. And we also want to display this data only for the fourth quarter of 2012. Doing so filters the data down to a smaller, perhaps more manageable and more easily understood chart. But we're not through yet. Let us also go in and filter out by industry so that we're looking at only the top five entries for each of the industries. Now we have an even simpler data set to understand. And finally, since we can sort information in pivot charts, and of course pivot tables also, let us sort this information based on service line, and we will choose to sort the information in descending order based on total revenue. Upon clicking OK, now we have a much more easily understood chart that again is filterable in real time by the reader. Pivot charts are yet another fantastic feature in Excel, but go largely unnoticed by most Excel users. Perhaps this is because of the previous requirement to build a pivot table before constructing a pivot chart. With that requirement vanishing in Excel 2013, there is no reason not to use pivot charts for enhanced reporting and analytics capabilities. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.